Hello, it's Mr. Dorsey again, number eight on the Inequalities Practice Test, Unit 7. Uh, Mr. Dorsey's baking cookies, and yes, I do bake cookies. I make really good ones, just saying. Each batch of cookies takes 1.5 cups of flour. I only have 12 and a half cups of flour left. What's the most whole batches of cookies I can bake? It says he can bake, but I'm reading it. Write an inequality, represent this situation. Interpret your solution. Hint, what does this actually mean to Mr. Dorsey? And how many batches of cookies can he bake? So let's see. I have 1.5 cups per batch. So I'm going to call it 1.5 B. And that's all I'm doing to it. And I'm limited to my 12 and a half cups. So it's going to stay less than or equal to 12 and a half. So let's see what that means. I need to divide both sides by 1.5 because I'm currently multiplying. When I do that, these cancel. When I get B is less than or equal to whatever 12.5 divided by 1.5 is. So let's do that. And whenever you're dividing decimals here on the outside, you have to make sure it's a whole number. So you move the decimal place one to the right to make it a whole number. And what you do to the number inside, you must move the outside. So we move both decimal places. 15 does not go into 12, but it goes into 125. I'm going to guess 8 times. 5 times 8 is 40. Uh, carry the 4. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 4 is 12. 120. That's pretty close. 5 minus 0 is 5. 15 goes into 5 3 times. 3 times 15 is 45. Again, this was, you just bring down another 0, right? You just keep going. Um, and then this becomes a repeating decimal. So this is 8.33. So it's 8.3 repeating. And what that means is, so batches is less than or equal to 1.3 repeating, which really means that because it's batches of cookies, you're not really going to make a third of a batch, which is what 0.33 is. So Mr. Dorsey can make Oops, not one, not one, sorry, 8.3, Mr. Dorsey, <laughs> I'm really tired, can you tell? Mr. Dorsey can make up to eight batches of cookies. Can't make nine, I can make eight, because it's eight and a third. All right, that's number eight.